Greetings, this is Alo, last Kamen Rider. Bandai presents SH Figurette, Kamen Rider Exado. Hyper Mutaki. Hyper Mutaki is the final form of Kamen Rider Exade. Marked by his iconic long hair, which has never appeared in Kamen Rider series. The sculpture is pretty cool. In the TV show, the leather suit is a bit loose, but when it turns to a figure, it feels like an armor, which makes it look even better than the TV show. In terms of the painting, the whole figurine is colored with metallic gold, making it very shiny, like what we see in the show. One major problem is about the eye color. In the show, the eyes are like a rainbow, but in this figurine, I can barely see any color except dark green. But it's actually a very common problem of the SHF Kamen Rider XA line. The Gamer Driver is sculpted in a very nice way with rich colors. Some details of the Mutaki Gashak are missing, but since it is a very tiny part of the whole figurine, to me it doesn't really matter. And as you can see, the three lines on his body are also painted with metallic color. The figurine comes with three pairs of hands, the open hands, the punches, and the weapon gripping hands, and also the beautifully painted Gazakon key slasher. The weapon is painted with solid color instead of transparent colored, and the engraved words are quite clear as well. Braid, ass, and gun. You can change the pose based on your own need. Also, there's a pair of XA's iconic one-tick hand gesture. Of course, it also comes with an extra hair part. To change the hair part, first, you have to take off the eye shoe. And, as you can see, XA's eyes are actually compound eyes. Then, you can remove the two side burns all the left and right hair parts. Taking off the eye shield helps you to remove the sideburns easily without damage. Insert the left and right hair part first.
careful when you play with the figurine. There's a bunch of sharp horns that may hurt you. The articulation is fine, just like average SHF figurines. Because of the hair, you can only slightly move the hat a bit. Otherwise, you may break his hair. Overall, I'll give an A out of 10 this time. Bandai has done an awesome job. The sculpture, painting, and articulation are very impressive. Highly recommend. Finally, let's do some comparisons with other XA figurines. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in my next video. So long.